Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the series and parallel problems. In the previous class, we discussed about the what is series circuit and when two, two or more resistors are connected in series, how to find the total equivalent resistance and what are the characteristics of series connection and when two or more resistors are connected in parallel and what is a parallel circuit total equivalent resistance formula and what are the characteristics of parallel circuit that we have seen in the previous class. Now today we will discuss some problems based on the series and parallel. Okay, let's see the first problem. Find the total equivalent resistance for the given circuit. So this is the given circuit. For this circuit, we have to find out the total equivalent resistance. Okay, here total how many resistors are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Total 7 resistors here. These seven resistors by using series and parallel operation, we will convert into one single resistance. That is, we will find the total equivalent resistance here. Okay, let's see the first step. If you observe the circuit, this one ohm and this five ohm resistors are connected in series. Okay, here, see here, there is no current is dividing. This one ohm and five ohm are connected in series. When two resistors are connected in series, the formula is R is equal to R1 plus R2. 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 ohm. Okay, now this 1 ohm and 5 ohm, we will replace with 6 ohms. Okay, next, this 6 ohm resistor and 3 ohm resistor are connected in parallel. If you see here, here current is dividing. So, 6 ohm and 3 ohm are connected in parallel. If two resistors are connected in parallel, the formula is R is equal to R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. 3 plus 6 by 3 into 6 by 3 plus 6, we will get R is equal to 2 ohms. Now, this total circuit can be replaced by 1 ohm and 5 ohm by 6 ohms. And this 6 ohm and 3 ohm is replaced by 2 ohm. Okay, let, let's see the circuit. This circuit can be replaced by, if we, if we rearrange the total resistors, these two resistors are converted into one single resistor that is 6 ohm and these two resistors are converted into one single resistor. By here we are using parallel operation and we are using here series operation. Now let's see the next step. 2 ohm and 2 ohm resistors are connected in series here. 2 ohm and 2 ohm are connected in series. If, if two resistors are connected in series, what is the formula? R is equal to 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 ohm. Okay, now if we rearrange the total circuit here, here 2 ohm and 2 ohm is replaced by 4 ohm. Okay. And the remaining resistors are as it is. Now if you see the circuit, 4 ohm resistor and 6 ohm resistors are connected in parallel because here current is dividing. 4 ohm and 6 ohms are connected in parallel. If two resistors are connected in parallel, the formula is R1 into R2 by R1 plus R2. 4 into 6 by 4 plus 6. If we calculate the above uh, equation, we will get R is equal to 2.4 ohms. Okay, now in the next step, we will replace this 4 ohm and 6 ohm by whatever the value we got. If you do the parallel operation, that is 2.4 ohm we got. So 2.4 ohm. Okay, now if you see the circuit, now 4 ohm resistor and 2.4 ohm resistor and 8 ohm, all are connected in series connection. Okay, now this 2, 2.4 and 8 ohm resistors are connected in series. If, if the three resistors are connected in series, the formula is R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. R is equal to 4 plus 2.4 plus 8. The answer is 14.4 ohms. Okay. So finally, the total equivalent resistance of the given circuit is 14.4 ohms. Like this, we will calculate the total equivalent resistance by using series and parallel operation. Okay, this is about the first problem. Next, now let's say the one more problem. So this is a one more problem. Find the total equivalent resistance for the given circuit. Okay, we are we have to find out the total R equivalent for this given circuit here. So it is also having there are many resistors. Finally, we will convert this resistors into one single resistor. Now let's see the first step. The 7 ohm and 8 ohm are connected in series. See here, the 7 ohm resistor and 8 ohms are connected in series. Here the current is not dividing. In these two resistors, the current is same. 
when two registers are connected in series, the formula is R is equal to R1 plus R2. 7 plus 8 is equal to 15 ohm. Now, these two registers, we will convert into one single resistor. If we redraw the diagram, we will get the circuit like this. I am replacing 7 and 8 by 15 ohms. Now, 6 ohm and 15 ohm are connected in parallel. Okay, if these two are connected in parallel, what is the formula? R is equal to 6 into 15 by 6 plus 15. 6 into 15 by 6 plus 15. The answer is 4.28 ohms. Okay, now I am replacing these two resistors by one single resistor. By using parallel operation, we are getting 4.28 ohms. I am replacing these two resistors by one single resistor here. Now, 4 ohm and 4.2 ohm, 28 resistors are connected in series here. Now, if you see 4 ohm and 4.28 ohms are connected in series, the answer is 4 is equal to, sorry, R is equal to 4 plus 4.28 is equal to 8.28 ohms. Okay, now replace these two resistors by 8.28 ohms. Now I am replacing 8.28 ohms. Now, if you see the circuit, 5 ohm resistor and the 8.28 resistors are connected in parallel. Okay, if we apply the parallel operation, see here, 8.28 and 5 ohm resistors are connected in parallel. If we apply the parallel operation, 5 into 8.28 by 5 plus 8.28. So finally, we will get 3.11 ohms. If you calculate this value, we will get 3.11 ohm. Okay, so now I am replacing these two resistors by one single resistor here. Okay, because we are applying parallel operation here, we got 3.11. So replace these two resistors by one single resistor here. Now, if you see the circuit, these two resistors are connected in series. 2 ohm and 3 ohm are connected in series. 2 ohm resistor and 3 ohm resistor are connected in series. If two resistors are connected in series, R is equal to 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 ohm. Okay, now I am replacing these two resistors by, by this 5 ohm. Now 5 ohm, I am replacing. And now if we see the circuit, 5 ohm and 3.11 ohm are two are connected in parallel. Okay, now if we apply the parallel operation, R is equal to R1 into R2 by R1 plus R2. That is 5 into 3.11 by 5 plus 3.11. If we calculate this value, we will get 1.91 ohms. Now, if I am replacing these two resistors by one single resistor. That is whatever the value we got here, 1.91 ohms. If you see the circuit, 1 ohm and 1.91 ohm are connected in series. If these two resistors are connected in series, R is equal to R1 plus R2. That is 1 plus 1.91. Okay, finally, the answer is 2.91 ohms. Okay, now total R equivalent circuit equivalent circuit resistance is equal to 2.91 ohms. Okay, this is about the uh, two problems. In the next class, we will discuss about the some more problems. Okay, thank you everyone.